Hey everyone, this is Shank here. Today I'm going to show you guys how I create an agent with GitHub MCP. Um, I'm going to try and use Mosher framework today. Mosher is a pretty solid framework that helps you create an event-based um, agent. Uh, I really like it. Uh, shout out to Mike Piccolo, he's the founder of uh, founder slash creator of uh, Mosher. Um, so first thing first, let's have let's check our cursor settings to see if we have MCP set up. Uh, in my case, I already have GitHub chat set up. It's pretty straightforward. There's two methods and just need to type in UVX GitHub chat MCP. Once you have GitHub chat set up, um, now just have to type in the prompt. Uh, and for today's example, I'm going to try and create um, an agent that literally just scrapes from Hacker News and top five news from Hacker News and give me a summary um, of the news using OpenAI. Um, let's see if it's able to uh, do it in one shot. Let's go. I'm going to mute myself. <clears throat> So this is what it's trying to do here. Uh, GitHub chat MCP2 is trying to ask the repository, how do I create an agent to make an HTTP request in Moshe framework? Seems like it got an answer back. So let's continue. In this case, um, Claude doesn't wasn't quite sure if event conflict properties is correct, so it's trying to ask GitHub chat if it's actually correct. Once it got the context, it fixes itself. <clears throat> and now, after it fixes itself, it tries to proceed with uh, the generate summary step. See, this is the beauty of GitHub chat MCP. Um, whenever it encounters an error that it wasn't sure, instead of like hallucinating, it will call to the repository and knows how to use the tool to ask the question. And in this case, it's trying to ask how I can subscribe to events from an API and get access to the last process result, what is the pattern for it, blah, blah, blah. So it's definitely trying to clarify some concepts before it proceeds, which is exactly what I hope it would do. And it's doing it <clears throat> the right way. Interesting, it's trying to delete the entire display results um, and recreate it. Okay, okay, okay. I feel more confident recreating it. Made it simpler. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Ah, I have my port 3000 running something else. So let me try and pause real quick and kill it. Actually, instead of killing it, I think I'm just gonna run on a different port. <clears throat> see the results. Okay, I went ahead and used a different port instead, and let's see what type of flow it creates for me. So if I hop onto 302, now I can see it generated a news flow for me. And um, here we have an API that will scrape the hacker news, scrape article content, generate summaries, and store results. And I just created an agent in less than five minutes. Let's try and uh, use it and validate if it's actually scraping the results for me. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, now I went ahead to perform a curl request to scrape the hacker news for me, and then it successfully scraped the articles and all that, and it stored it inside a state, which was uh, state in uh, Moshe. So now if we take a look at the result, what was it actually doing is essentially going through scrape hacker news here, scrape article content, generate summary, and then store results in the state. So if we look at the states here, you can see we have the latest summaries from all the articles uh, available here. Isn't this cool? Thank you. 